Okay, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Applications Review. This is question 1i. It says draw a graph of the motion of the particle from 0 to 4 seconds. Include the direction, the times, the displacement for any, any critical, uh, for any critical point. Okay, now what we're going to do is to, to do this, uh, and, uh, the word graph is in parentheses here, because uh, sorry, in, in uh, quotes here, because this is a, a little bit of a different graph here. We're going to start right here. This is when time is equal to zero. And when time is equal to zero, if you go look back to the original expression there, if you just plug zero in, you'll see that it's 12, okay? That our displacement here is 12. Now, at that exact moment, okay, our velocity, okay, is gonna be negative six. So which means I'm moving in the negative direction, which means for the first little bit, we are moving to the left here. Now, we're going to keep doing this until we get to a turning point. Now, here's our turning point. And we have already seen from question D that that turning point or the place where it's at rest here is going to be where T is equal to 2. Now, at that point, if I take T equals 2. Now, by the way, if you're wondering where I'm grabbing that from, that is question D. Okay? Question D tells me that it's going to, it's going to be at rest at 2 here. Or actually, even F uh, tells me where it's where it's at, at rest there. And we know that the displacement here is going to be two units. And at that moment there, the velocity is equal to zero. Now that's a turning point, okay? So now what we do is from there, we're going to move forward. The velocity now changes and goes this direction here. Uh, based on our derivative, at no other point does it go to rest uh, at all. So it's going to continue to move, and move forward here. So really what we got to do is just identify where it is when t is equal to 4. And if you plug that into the original expression, we're going to get that the displacement is 28. And if we plug that in uh, to our velocity equation, just to figure out what the velocity is, and I know it doesn't ask specifically for the velocity, but it's, it's interesting to throw that in there. Uh, that will be 3 times uh, 4 squared minus 3 times 4 minus 6. And it turns out the velocity is going to be 30 units per second. So that's just kind of a, a rough idea of what that graph is supposed to look like. I should probably put a little arrow on there to indicate the direction that it's moving.